Today on Unlikely Vegan, a special holiday meal. Vegan, vegan holiday. holiday! I work to whip up a vegan surprise under the critical eye of my mother-in-law, Bubba. Disgusting. And learning how to make the meal festive thanks to a top vegan chef. It's too pretty, they won't believe me that I did it. Hey, I'm Jay. I'm a teacher and a busy dad. I guess you'd say I'm a guy's guy. I love beer, sports, barbecue, oh, and beer. Oh, that's good. But a few years ago, my doctor read me the riot act. She said I had to change or die. That's when I became an unlikely <laughs> vegan. <laughs> it's time for the holidays, and I've got a little something special planned for the family. Hey, Bubba, how you doing? Hi, hi, girl. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? Good, you get too early. Well, I'm always early when it's food. This year, I actually managed to talk Baba into letting me prepare the meal, cook the meal, and have one meal for all of us, a vegan meal. Look, Baba, I got the stuff for the holiday meal. Are you ready? You know, I am cooking like every year, you know. No, 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 Baba. You said I can make the holiday meal this year. Listen, you are the only one. I'm gonna make a tofurkey, a tofu turkey. You promised me you let me cook it this year. It's gonna be great, and you'll see. For the holidays, I usually make pork chops, rolls of beef, bunch chicken soup, and also different pierogies. The kids like it, turkey. But you know what I have been thinking about? Maybe you should change your mind. Change my mind? <laughs> No, 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 no. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. If it's no good, you will be paying all the bill in a restaurant. <laughs> I'm crying already. I don't know if we should do it or not because I wasn't sure if everybody gonna like it. Every holiday we have a big dinner and if we eat at Baba's house, I tend to bring my own food. I never get to eat what everyone else is eating. But to be honest, this isn't looking promising. I'm not sure the kids are gonna eat this. This is gonna be a tough sell. When my hands are in that tofu, I'm optimistic, but the realist in me says, oh boy, I'm in for it. Perfect. A few hours later, with the water pressed out, it's time to season. A few great flavors could really bring this all together. But in the assembly, wow. No amount of seasoning or pixie dust was gonna make that tofu disaster appealing to anyone. I don't like it too much that look. Disgusting. I was not too pleased. Baba, I think I've gone too far this time. I don't think Syl's gonna eat this and I definitely know the kids will. Did you taste that? No, it's got, we gotta cook it first, Baba. He said it will turn good. So I let him do it. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Hey, Why did Baba, you start it? I got this. I gave my good buddy Mike a call because I made a huge disaster out of my holiday meal and I was hoping he could bail me out. Hey Jay. Hey Mike, how, how you doing? Time. Thanks, I appreciate this. Let's go. I'm happy to help. It's almost closing time, you know what, and just uh, get them in here and get things rolling. All right, Jay, I know you're in a little bit of a jam here, so... Huge jam, I'm going to show you the ropes. Uh, help me out. Get this uh, shepherd's pie all ready for your family. I appreciate it. When I walked into the kitchen and saw Mike had everything ready for me, it just put me at ease, and I knew I would please Baba with a great meal. First thing we have to do is potatoes. It has 10 to 12 medium potatoes. Clearly you can see that we have a plethora of sizes here. Those are some small potatoes. They are some small potatoes, that's for sure. I'm gonna class these ones up here as a medium potato. Then we're gonna piece together, as you can see, we have two yep. that are about the same size. Oh, I, all right. So what I would do is you grab that peeler there, yep. and we start peeling our potatoes. Quick little trick on peeling potatoes. We don't have to peel them fully. We want them to be super beautiful. I essentially just kind of peel the sides and get kind of a situation off. It doesn't have to be perfect. There's a nice peeled potato. If you want mediocre, I'm the guy. All right, perfect. All right. <laughs> We're gonna work well together. Yeah, right? I think so. He was moving so fast in those potatoes, I felt like lumpy potatoes. Hey man, what's next? All right, 
We need to multitask here. We're gonna get you to peel that carrot, okay? This is a carrot, not a bat. The recipe calls for medium dice. So I'm already done. You have to chop it though, Jay. Oh. While I'm chopping up with those machetes, the last thing I wanna do is bleed all over Mike's kitchen. So, Jay, now that I've got the mashed potatoes done. Yeah. Just got them over here. Yeah. Draining the air, let them air dry for a minute or two. We're gonna put them in the Stanley cup here. Industrial Stanley cup, exactly. Yes. What I have here is this Earth Balance butter, so it's a vegan based butter. You can get it at any grocery store, stuff like that. It's fantastic. It has the same flavor profile of butter and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Like so yeah, I yeah. have the tendency to over butter because that's that such a thing. Why don't you do that? Yeah, I can take my frustrations out on this meal that they don't think I can cook. I'll show them. Do while you're doing that is add. Oh, yes. Sprinkle some pepper. pixie dust. Get Jay out of the doghouse. <laughs> exactly, that's what we're doing here. I'm gonna give you a spoon. Now remember, it's gonna be hot. I'm gonna taste the mashed potatoes. So this is chef's sample. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. See, that's pretty much one and done right there. Holy crow, that's good. I, I think I might just take this. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to bring all those other ingredients together. So, one of our first ingredients, if you want to pass me that onion there. Yeah, absolutely. This is our onions prepped from the uh, recipe itself. You know, Mike, this is great. I can sneak more veg into a meal for my kids. 100%. I'm always trying to add more vegetables to my kids' meals. And by throwing it in a shepherd's pie like this, one, they probably don't even know it, and two, it's so delicious, they probably won't even care. As it becomes natural to me is adding your seasoning, your salt and pepper. Ah. So you want to season in layers. Pretty much add everything else now. Look at that color, isn't it nice? Yeah. Beautiful. Especially once you get the heat on the carrots there, it really makes it really vibrant. All this great stuff going in, it's gonna look beautiful as well as taste great. We put in some more ingredients, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Ah, Salt so every pepper. time you add an ingredient, you add more seasoning. Exactly. The veggie ground can be next. I'll do one, you do one. Uh, so the vegan ground is, is essentially, it's a soy-based product, uh, mimics what ground beef would taste like and look like. So it's that texture and that taste and then just adding your own flavor profiles to it. If you want to grab the red wine, you can pour the red wine in. Is that enough? No, more. No, I mean, for the sauce. For me, it's not enough. This doesn't look like any shepherd's pie I've ever had. All right, Jay, finished wow, product. Wow, look at that. Oh, take a good whiff of that. That smells like heaven. Mike, you have saved my life. This is gonna go over amazing. You know, I don't have to worry about my wife and my kids. It's my mother-in-law I have to please. And if she loves it, I'm gold. And Mike, I think you have bailed me out. All right, so that's good there. I'm gonna give you this. I get to put the lid on. You get to put the potatoes on. All right. It's just like a cake. So one little thing I wanna do, because I wanna make sure that your mother-in-law is happy. I'm gonna jazz it up a little bit with Chef Mike throw a good touch. And that touch is something I could never pull off. I think my cover is blown. Just gives it that little je ne sais quoi. That Tell you what it gives touch. me. It gives me a little je ne sais. I'm not in the doghouse. <laughs> There's the finished product. One more special thing that I have for you. It keeps getting better and better. This is our patented plant matter bistro, patented. plant matter kitchen, plant matter cafe. Gravy. Gravy, oh my Secret. gosh. Secret. Love gravy. Miso, tamari. Miso and tamari. Yeah. Like, I owe you big time, buddy. Appreciate it. I feel like a champ going home with this. Here we go, guys. Wow. 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 It looks awesome. so delicious. Togetherness is the most important wow. thing over the holidays. <laughs> But this year, eating together has a whole new meaning for me. Guys, I want to make a toast. Thank you for sharing with me this vegan meal. It means a lot to me that you went along with me in this journey. Cheers. 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 Vegan holiday. Vegan, vegan holiday. holiday. They've supported my decision to become vegan, and that's been the key to my success. And I'm glad we can share one meal together. You're doing a good job, Jay. Now, time to see if our vegan shepherd's pie is a holiday hit. Everybody, dig in. Mm, looks really good. Can you, can you
good. That's brave, it's good. It was delicious. I love it. Keaton liked it. Yeah, can I have some more, please? It felt great to have my family at a holiday meal, eating one meal and a vegan meal. It was wicked awesome. I could see it.